درود و سلام خدمت بیننده های گرامی امروز قصد داریم در مورد اپدیت جدید پای نتورک صحبت داشته باشیم مورد سیریس بیور آف دا سکیمز یعنی چی مانا ای اپدیت جدید پای نتورک است که در مورد در مجموع آموزشی مدرن امروز ما در مورد چگونگی جلوگیری از کلاوبرداری هایی که تظاهر میکنند در گیر پای هستند بحث میکنیم با رشد شبکه پای کلاوبرداران اخیرا سعی کردند با اطلاعات نادرست پاینرها را گمراه کنند برای یادگیری نحو ایمن نگه داشتن خود روی این ویدیو ضربه بزنید اینجا که ما برای ویدیویش که کلیک کردیم اینجا معلوماتی بر ما میده که درباره ایمان که چی خود داشته باشیم به خاطر می یوزری خود امن نگاه داری کنیم برای ویدیو کلیک میکنیم Welcome to another mod series education video Today we will discuss various pi scans and how to avoid them. As the Pi network grows, scams claiming to involve Pi have recently popped up, so we wanted to educate Pioneers to keep everyone safe. So to help you, we'd like to share some facts about the Pi network. First, Pi is still in the testnet phase, which means that it is not a live blockchain yet. Pi is currently not traded or listed on any exchange, so Pi that is on exchanges are fake. Do not buy them. There is currently no ICO, and the team has never asked the Pioneer community for money, and Pi is not conducting any airdrops and no plans to do so. The Pi Core team and moderators will never ask for your password, private data, or wallet passphrase. To protect yourself from scams, we will cover the common scams to avoid and how to protect yourself, techniques to avoid scams, and how you can help other Pioneers so they too won't get scammed. Here are some common scams and how to avoid them. Impersonations of team members. Beware of impersonators pretending to be Pi Core team members. These impersonators use the same profile and very similar usernames of the team. They pretend to speak like the core team members, but they have different intentions that is usually malicious. They might send fake investments, news, or updates. To avoid these, follow only official social media accounts of Pi Network and beware of suspicious profiles imitating core team members or moderators. Here are the social accounts to follow. Beware of lookalike websites that pretend to be the official Pi Network website or account. The English MindPi.com is the only official website for the Pi Network. All other websites in other languages are not official and not created by the core team. There may be community created content by other pioneers that are not scams, but they are not official. The official support portal can be found at pi.app slash support and the community wiki can be found at pi app slash wiki. At the current state of the testnet, selling pi is not allowed. This is another potential scam where scammers may steal your money for pi or steal your pi for money. The core team has not and does not solicit money from the community. Any pre-sales, ICOs, or futures that pretend to come from the Pi network are scams. Any project that asks for investments and has unauthorized use of the Pi name or logo to pass any affiliation with the Pi network is not affiliated and can be potentially a scam. Do not participate in any of them. Do not try to buy Pi. When Pi is traded and exchanged in the open mainnet, Always ensure that you understand the parties and apps you're engaging with to stay safe. Understand the risk and keep up to date with official news and updates. Keep your data safe. There are different ways that scammers will try to steal your data. This can be through chat messaging, social media, email, phishing websites, and more. Please do not give out your personal information to organizations that you do not trust, such as your phone number, email, especially not your passwords and balances to other websites and social media. Never give your account password or personal information out to other parties. Most importantly, do not give away your wallet passphrase. Even during the test, net, even during the test pi phase, this is important to keep. Your wallet passphrase will be the same wallet used in mainnet. If you give these away, others can fully access and take away your pi. 
Again, these should be kept private. Please do not give this out to anyone. They may take your account or your Pi from your wallet. The Pi Core team, moderation team, and dApps will never ask for this. If they do, please avoid. So, here's our sort of techniques to avoid scams. Always receive news from official channels only. Take caution on unofficial Pi related social pages or groups who offer information or services. They are some resources that might be reliable, but there are some who spread false information. Always ask and verify official sources, double check. Always protect your own data, don't give it out. If someone is asking for money, be suspicious. How can you help other pioneers? First, you can educate your friends, family, or your network about how to identify and avoid scams. This helps pioneers not fall for the scams. If you see something suspicious, ask around the community, moderation team, or friends to help verify. Double checking your sources is always good. Report offenders. Help the community take down the scammers and report suspicious activity. You may submit a report on the support page so that the core team can take care of it. Please follow and utilize the Pi Network official resources. And thank you for watching the Mod Series education on how to protect yourself from scams and how to avoid them. بله دوستا قسمی که شما ویدیو را تماشا کردند که زیادتر تاکیدش سری امو پاسفریز بود که با کسی شیار نکنید و با کسی اشتراک نگذارید که او از پاسفریز شما استفاده بکنه تا که امو پا پای های که شما جمع کردند او را بغارت ببره با تشکر دوستا از اینکه ویدیو ما را تماشا کردند و اگر این ویدیو خوش شما آمد شیار بکنید و سبسکرایب بکنید و لایک بزنید تشکر از بیننده های گرامی